Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Sarunyu TV where we like to say it's the ultimate sophistication. We like to, to keep it simple, informative and entertaining. And today, in today's particular episode, what we are doing is I'm bringing you something I'm sure you've seen enough time on Kenyan roads. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is the Mazda CX-5. It's considered a mid-range or mid-sized SUV within the same range as the Subaru Forester, Honda CRV, but in terms of price range, it's within the same price range as the Volkswagen T1 or the Honda CRV. When you look at it, what do you see? This comes in wine red. But in the meantime, what I need us to do is just check it out and see what we have on the exterior. The design is very slick and for good reason. So stick around because I'm going to tell you exactly why it looks like that. Now, the Mazda CX-5 comes in three different models. The Touring, the Grand Touring, the Grand Touring Reserve, uh, Signature, and finally, the Sport Modes. Come with me, let's find out exactly what you're dealing with today. Remember to subscribe, and I'm your host, Sarunyu, and this is Sarunyu TV. Karibu sa. So the first thing that you note uh, regarding the Mazda CX-5 is the clearance. It's quite enough, just like a normal SUV. And then the wheels, this is 19 inch alloy rims. They're very robust, very strong and do not break easily. When you look at the car from a distance, what you see, the slick design is as a result of using something called the Kodo design language. It adopts single flowing lines. If you look at the car from here, it's just one single flowing line. It gives the car a sleek and luxurious look. The Mazda CX-5 has what you call adaptive headlights. This means that they do not blind oncoming traffic. If they are too bright, then they sense, and then they sense oncoming traffic. What they do, automatically they just dim enough to make sure that the oncoming traffic is not blinded. As you can see, we have um, the fog lights just to drive within the fog. And from the front, it's a very, it's a very, it's a very majestic car. The look on 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 the front, uh, from the grille and then the the key, um, the Mazda logo. Yeah, that's it. Let's check out the engine and see what it has. Yeah. The Mazda CX-5. What do you see in the engine? Just enough protection for what is needed. Yeah, and, and that's it. And this comes in two options. The first option is a 2000 cc. The second option is a 2500 cc that is the engine capacity and with engine capacities they have the engine capacity they have the performance of that particular car now for this particular one and also it comes in two options either diesel or petrol this is a petrol engine and for a while there has been mazda has been recalling cars especially the cx5 that was diesel option we didn't understand why we'll give you we'll give you uh, that particular piece of information as time goes on in terms of consumption and first of all the speed it gives you between 0 to 100 in 8.6 seconds but if it's turbocharged it gives you 0 to 100 kilometers per hour in 6.5 seconds it's actually very fast for the engine that is 2000 cc in terms of um, the consumption it gives you between 14.5 to 19 19.2 kilometers per liter of petrol now, for the one that is 2,500cc, it gives you the highest at 17.5 kilometers per liter. As I've said, the engine capacity, they have the engine capacity, they have the performance. They have the performance, the more fuel you consume. For this particular car, it consumes less when you're doing long distances. It consumes more when you're doing short distances. And that is actually a fact for most cars, apart from the hybrids. Yeah, that's it about uh, the engine. Uh, nothing much and this is a base cylinder a base four cylinder and it's standard in all cx5s whether the petrol or the diesel option that's it now come with me uh let's check out the back how it looks and the boot space before we go too far uh, this particular car 
the liters it, it the tank carries 56 liters at any one time at full capacity so you actually have enough to travel quite a long distance yeah ha now oh, this ladies and gentlemen this is enough cargo space I know storage uh, or just storage uh, cargo space is an issue and this particular car comes packed with 30.9 cubic feet of cargo space and that is when these seats are upright but if if you make sure that those particular seats <laughs> ah, are like that then you get 60 cubic feet of space not just that at the boot space you have a bit of this this is where you store anything that you need uh, yeah your repair and your tool your tools whatever you need that is where you actually everything goes into that space and then down there that should be spare wheel check this out there's something called uh, a 12 volt uh, power outlet where you can connect something that maybe that you need to charge it's right here yeah that's it yeah this is cool and if it's too dark you have a bit of light and that's it yeah now come with me let's check out on the inside how it looks. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the interior of the Mazda CX-5. This is a 2000 cc uh, vehicle uh, the petrol option yeah once you get inside i think the most interesting bit for me is there's a lot of leg room especially for the driver we'll check it out uh, on the passenger side but there's enough leg room and with this you can actually make adjustments based on how you want you want it to be you can pull it uh, to the front uh, just all the way low inside or just outside depending on what works for you if you're too short you'll know which works for, works for you yeah but from the outlook you have what you call a four spoke four spoke it has one one two three and four that's what you call a four spoke and then here this is the the logo for the mazda and then you have uh just to, uh, to increase or reduce the volume of the music music you want you can mute right here you can play next uh, previous or next then if you press this one this one gives you the information again on uh, this particular uh, display screen yeah now at the front what you get are uh, three levels that show uh, different kind of details this is a speedometer that gives you exactly you're cruising at what speed at any one time and then here this gives you the number of revs per minute the rpms uh, ideally the revolutions uh, per minute yeah that's it um the ac this is what you have the knobs right here just to set where you want uh, what what kind of um what level of uh, temperature do you want do you want cool do you want hot and then you can be able to just adjust them right here which i think they have well everyone wants this modernized way of just doing like a button but i, I don't know i kind of like this it's old-fashioned and feels good just you know just tuning it in just just doing that yeah uh, this one is for the hazard uh, anytime you want to do that and then to my extreme left the glove compartment this is enough this can carry just enough exactly what you might need to put in there and this is some nice leather and this is some, it's slick and it's shiny that's the plastic bit of it yeah 
But in terms of safety features, even for the passenger, the passenger has an airbag right here. This is it, yeah? And for the driver now, you're well covered. This is your airbag right here. In terms of cargo, you're able to put in uh, a cup holder. You have two here, maybe for you and for, you know, the passenger who's in just ne next to you, right there. And you have a 12 volt power outlet for charging. This is good for you, just for your phone. You can just actually place it there, uh, plug it in, and then you can place your phone right here, like that. And then uh, a digital clock. If you just press those ones, then you get exactly what you need in terms of time. You can be able to know is angapi, mechalewa wapi. Either you're supposed to drive very fast or just bungu the speed kidogo ju ju jachalewa. Yeah. Cargo again. The compartment here, and this is very interesting. This one has uh, just enough room, and it still has a charging port, 12 volt. And the other interesting bit is this. If you're able to charge your phone, you can actually just plug it in here. Maybe ni ile simu yenyewe utaki kusumbuliwa. Labda ni simu ya biashara ama it's a personal phone. At any one time you can always place it here. Eh unaificha na huko nyuma inakosa ku distract. That's it. In terms of log leg room, I spoke about it. Uh, there's a lot of leg room. I am 59 and this is how I am sitting. And then in terms of the headroom, just the headroom is just enough. 59 and just look at look at this is enough yeah you could get to place anything that you want right here just something small uh, yeah you can place anything that right there then you have this uh one, one side whichever you want you can just have it off or on just one or both whichever you want the option is yours yeah for the passenger just in case they want to you know just do a bit of um, touch up on the makeup this is what they have to use this one right here and it has its own set of lighting once you close it off it goes off i don't know whether you can be able to see it if i lift it up just enough it goes bingo it goes off we just pull it down then it's off and that's it yeah that's it yeah and the seats they're very interesting and they're very powerful and what we have right now is very adjustable seats um not leather but still it works just perfectly yeah it's, it's nice it's, it's a very comfortable seat that's it uh for such a car i would expect at least at least electric um adjustment for the seats but now it's it's all physical like you have to i have to do this you know for such a car I must have, come on. I have to do this and then if I want to just all the way to the back, this is the handle that I have to use. Let me just let me just show you. This is the handle that I have to use. Just to make sure that it's all the way to the front or all the way to the back. It's very interesting. Uh the movement to the back. Mazda, it's supposed to be a mid-size SUV, a luxurious SUV. But that is a fail. But also, this is interesting. Aluminium, just a shiny aluminium. And also, again, I like this, this particular fact. For the mirrors, just to open the mirrors, the side mirrors, or just to adjust a bit of what you want. Old school, it's interesting. That's it uh, from the front. So let's check out the backspace. See what you have. Ladies and gentlemen, this is enough. Again, the, head, the, the leg room is just enough for anyone who sits here. And so is the headspace. Just the headroom is also just as good as enough. And then here you have a bit of porch. You could place a book or anything else that you might like. Storage, uh, maybe for a bottle of water. You have it right here. Then I like this one, uh, the aluminium. Um, and this, the leather bit, but plastic. Yeah, still, this is the Mazda CX-5. Uh, 
Ladies and gents, I think it's important for us to go for a test drive and feel how the Mazda CX-5 handles the roads. Yeah, and then let's experience this. Come with me. Big. Na joto na niangalia sasa hivi wanajua ukijana na baendaye. Mkajua economy mahali iko. It's very tricky. If you're interested in buying this car, get in touch with us uh phone number in the description below or just down at the vid on the video bottom screen. That is proper braking. Again, zero to a hundred kilometers in 8.6 seconds. And if it's turbocharged in 6.5 seconds. Suspension is really good. I should get me this car. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for tuning in into Sarunyu TV and this is Sarunyu Reviews and I'm glad I am so happy. I hope you've learned a thing or two about the Mazda CX-5. This again, remember, comes in the option of wine red. It's just one of those colors. You can get others in pearl white, uh, silver, uh, black also. Uh, these are 2000 uh, CC model. And the interesting bits about this particular car is you can get it. If you want it, you can get it. Call the number below your screen or the number in the description box if you'd like us to review any other kind of car any other type of car please get in touch with us tell us what you think about the show i uh, would love to learn from you to hear what you have to say yeah to jangane this has been your host my name is duncan ronyo i'm a sarunyu and this is sarunyu tv the ultimate sophistication here we like it, to keep it simple entertaining and informative till next time subscribe comment share my best to zidi